Hi everyone. So I am stepping in here to talk about the seven spiritual law of success, just to round out uh, what I started a couple of weeks ago. And it is the law of Dharma. And oh my gosh, this is a big one. It's one of the shortest chapters. Um, but of course, it's huge because Dharma means stepping into your life purpose. And it may be a very difficult one that people are, are going through right now, especially around several parts of the world. I know here in Toronto, we're also still in lockdown. And the law of Dharma, me stepping into my own purpose, and my own calling was actually a very, very long process and it's still evolving. Hi, Leanne. Um, and so what do you do in this case when, um, you know, you're having trouble living out your life purpose, finding out your calling? I mean, isn't that the ultimate goal of this life is to live in bliss, to do what you love and never have to work a day in your life. And that's just not feasible for a lot of people. So the law of Dharma is really about finding your unique talent, something that is inherently special to you, and also discovering what your unique needs are, um, and living and going about fulfilling your unique needs. But before all of that, in order for our unique talent and our unique needs are often hidden under a whole bunch of layers and a whole bunch of, of covers because we weren't raised by Deepak Chopra. <laughs> we weren't raised by the Dalai Lama or by Mary Poppins, for that matter, as a coach had once said to us. So in order to find what our unique talents and the unique needs are first there has to be a healing process i know for me it was a huge healing process because of my of my tumultuous childhood and a lot of the the beliefs that were bestowed upon me as a child and all the negativity and, and toxicity that happened to me during childhood so i had to heal all of that unpeel all of that before i was able to be free and to discover what it was uniquely mine to discover. So, and that healing process doesn't happen overnight. But the thing is through the practice of mindfulness and meditation, again, through the practice of the first law, which is the law of pure potentiality, we can go back to our core essence we can go back to somewhere in our being is that that child that spiritual ageless being that is our true calling that is what we are uniquely called to do and that is the point that we have to try and practice and engineer on a day-to-day -day basis and there are um there are practices to this. I mean, the first one and the whole, all of Deepak Chopra's work is based on, on meditation. I know meditation is not an easy thing to do for some people, but is there's huge lessons in just the practice of trying to meditate, huge lessons to be learned. But sitting in that silence, sitting with yourself and communing with nature are, are two ways where you can really get back to your core essence Listen and find your higher self, connect to your higher self, connect to your true self, connect to what really lights you up. And so how do you find what lights you up when, you know, maybe nine to five, you're in a job that you hate. And again, this comes back to every present moment is and he says this in the book is just like a flash of lightning in in this eon of of time a flash of lightning in the universe and yet 
it's our job. We can make every single present moment. We can choose to make every single present moment worthwhile. And even just saying that bring, moves me. It's all about making every moment count. Even if you're doing something right now or you have to go to a job that you hate or, you know, you're looking at the bills. And again, this also can bring us back to the practice of, of gratitude, of giving. Um, because if you're able to watch this, if you're able to complain about your job, if you're able to complain about the bills. And man, I've been there. I was a single mom for 14 years. I know what it's like to have to look at the bills and wonder where it's going to come from. But when you are able to do that and you find a sense of gratitude, it shifts everything in that moment and carries you to the next moment. So how does this work when you are looking for a partner or when you are trying to get over a heartbreak or or trying to manifest this special person into your life. And I'll, I'll share with you how I did it. I made a commitment to myself to live from a place of joy, to live from a place of my core essence, to live from a place and an attitude and a mindset of what lit me up. So when I went out there, when I went back to online dating, I was just committed to being joyful, committed to feeling light, committed to just loving myself and loving life. And that attitude and that mindset brought in my, my husband within six weeks of meeting, of going back online. And I honestly feel, and I know this was because I practiced all of these laws. I wasn't detached. I was, I had my intention. I had my desires and I was living into my purpose in the smallest of ways. So you can start small. It doesn't mean that we have to go out there and save the seas right now. So although I'd love to do that, but we can take the small steps in our own little circle, in our own little bubble to live from a point of joy, a point of lightness. And I guarantee you, you do that moment by moment and it expands, it expands outward, it expands your energy and you call in the right people to your life. You call in that special someone into your life. And the more that you can define what lights you up, the more that you can step into what your unique needs are and what makes you happy, the more somebody aligns with you. It's a universal law. You become it and it aligns with you. And I hate sounding like this sometimes because it seems so easier, so much easier said than done. But it's in the little things. It's in finding the gratitude in the drudgery of the day, finding the lessons in the hardest moments in your life will pull you through to the next moment and every moment. And that's how I've managed to be where I am today after being a single mom for 14 years, after, you know, overcoming a, a very tumultuous childhood of coming from a place where I was completely shattered and broken when my, my ex-boyfriend had cheated on me. And I just took each moment by moment and I found the gifts in each moment and I made every moment matter and all of that grows and it becomes new layers of this magnetic wonderful energy that becomes who you truly are and that is the most powerful force that lies within you is stepping into your higher self and living from your highest self moment by moment and everything aligns to you. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Tabitha, I look forward to us speaking with you on Thursday too. Thank you for dropping in. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment or send me a, a direct message. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're at and how you're all doing. Thank you. Bye for now.